Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory. And on you are the Lord, let your name be glorified. Greetings to you all. Welcome in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise because it's another brand new day. It's another day in his presence. So as we gather May your spirit move within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we be blessed because we care. And we'll all be blessed in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. I want to say welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're connecting from. And we glorify the name of the Almighty God for giving us the opportunity to be here today. I want to just specially thank God for, for the gift of life, for the love, his precious love, his unending love over me, over you, over each and every one. I want you to tell each other, thank God for the love that he has for you. Thank God for his great love, abundant love. Begin to tell each other, thank God for the love that he has. Thank God for the opportunity that he has given us to, to walk in his presence, to know him more, to learn about him, to declare his sovereignty over our lives, his supremacy over our lives. Let us begin to declare that he is able because, you know, he has kept us in this life at this time for us to be able to draw closer to him, for us to know him more, for us to appreciate who he really is, for us to know what he did for us on the cross. And then he's opening our spiritual eyes to see deep things beyond the ordinary. He's opening our eyes, and I pray that he's going to open our eyes today to see more and more into the realm of the Spirit in the name of King Jesus Christ. No other name like the name of Jesus, no other name but the name of the Lord, no other name except the name of King Jesus Christ. It's through that name that we are set free, through that name we are delivered, through that name we can pull down the works of darkness, through his name we can bring down every territorial spirits, territorial demons, they bow before the Lordship of King Jesus Christ. No power can stand be in his presence, no power can face him, no demon can stand, no power from the lowest pit of hell or the highest pit of hell can stand in his presence because he is Jehovah. He is mighty. He is faithful. He is glorious. He is almighty. He is powerful. No witch, no wizard, no witchcraft, no wizardry, no voodoo, no juju, no power, no power can stand in his presence because there is power in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, there is power in the name of Jesus. I say, there is power in the name of Jesus. What is that power for? To break every chain, 
break every chain. Every chain must be broken. By the reason of the anointing, say every yoke is broken. Hallelujah. Um, Isaiah 54, 17 says, no weapon formed or fashioned against me shall prosper. In the name of King Jesus, there is power in the name of King Jesus Christ. I just want you to invite one person or two people or three people. Send this link to somebody. Invite somebody. Let us hear this. Let us hear this. You need to hear this. Hallelujah. God is so mighty. The spiritual world is so big. This physical world, we're just going about our business, doing our thing. But the spiritual world is mighty. But you know, God is a spirit. He said those that worship him most, worship him in what? In spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. In spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. How do you connect to God? In spirit and in truth. Just get these deep revelations. I'm going to just be rushing, but please follow me closely. Praise the Lord. And I pray that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened today. Father, we thank you for tonight. We just pray for insight. We pray that you remove every scale from everybody's eyes tonight. I pray that you remove, pull out every blindness, spiritual blindness from everyone's eyes tonight. Lord, have mercy upon us, O oh God. Father, we pray for enlightenment into your word. We pray that as we listen, as we go deep, as we receive revelation, ah, the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened. Our spiritual man will rise rise up. Our spirit will become active. Ah, Father, we'll receive more revelation. More revelation brings more power. More revelation brings more power. More revelation brings more anointing. More revelation brings more grace. More revelation, more glory. Hallelujah. Tonight, whoever has lost their destiny or their glory, restoration in the name of King Jesus Christ, we declare, we come out of the old and we step into the new today in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give the enemy, we give the enemy a quick notice. Hallelujah. We put the enemy's gear in a reverse position in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. Today is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because we will see his goodness today in the land of the living. Today is the day that God has made. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty king, the king of kings. I'm telling you, we thank God. We thank the Holy Spirit who is real. The Holy Spirit is so real. Ah, we need the Holy Spirit. Everyone, please cry to him, call upon God and say, Father, I need you. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour, every minute, I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. We need him. We need more of him. More of him in your life. You need more of him. I'm telling you, more of him will cut down that situation that is that stubborn situation. A situation can become stubborn in your life and you will be tired and say, what kind of pain is this? Today, every stubborn situation, I address you in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. I address every stubborn situation in anybody's life and I decree and declare. I say, give way. Father, if you have called me for this, if you have called me for a time like this, if you have called me, Lord, to do this, my God, you will arise, you will arise, and you will cause our enemies to be scattered in the name of King Jesus Christ. Arise, O oh God. Let the enemy be scattered. Let them flee before him in the name of Jesus. You say, our smoke is driven away. Father, drive them away in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, I will extol thee, O oh Lord, my strength. You are my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock. In you I will trust. My buckler, the horn of my salvation, and my height tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. If I call upon you, ha, I will be saved from my enemies. If I call upon you, I will call upon the Lord because you are worthy to be praised. You say, so shall I be saved. So shall everyone be saved from our enemies. You will all be saved from your enemies. You will be all be saved with that circumstances that has found you. You will be saved from that deadly situation in the mighty name of King Jesus. Christ, I say, I will call.
call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Ah, any situation that has befallen me all this while, I allowed it. My God, I allowed it. But today, I am decree and declaring that I could give the enemy in a reverse position. The enemy cannot bring you down anymore because now this spirit, your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. Any situation that you do not want, any situation that has mocked you all this while, just write it down wherever you are. Write it on a sheet of paper. Today, you are going to address that situation. You are going to address the demon behind that situation because every situation, a spirit is attached to it. You're going to address that spirit. Hallelujah. You are going to address that spirit behind that situation because if you know you don't like what you're seeing, you say, no, enough is enough. Hallelujah. Enough is enough of this situation. Write it down because this is what you want to get rid of. In the name of King Jesus Christ, it has to change. Ah, it, it, that situation has an expiry date. It must change no matter what it is, no matter the situation, no matter who is attacking you, no matter what that person is carrying. What is that person carrying? Is it greater than your God? No. If you are saying that person, what that person is doing to you is heavy, that means you're, you're saying your God is not strong enough. But we serve a mighty God, the great I am that I am, the everlasting Father, the way maker. He said he's the all-consuming fire in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. The all-consuming fire will come down tonight and consume every fruitful works of darkness in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare today that we take authority over the airwaves, every stratosphere, the atmosphere, whatever atmosphere it is, we bring them down under the subjection of our Lord and Savior King Jesus Christ. Because he said he has given us authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Say nothing! Nothing shall by enemies. Father, you said nothing shall by enemies harm me. Whatever these things are, they are usurping the throne. Whatever they are, they are an obstruction. Whatever they are, they are not supposed to be. They are trespassers. So tonight, the Bible says we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Every trespasser in your life, trespasser in your dream, trespasser in your home, tonight, give them quick notice in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. I want you to declare amen if you agree with me. Whatever the situation is, I'm telling you, let your faith level increase. I want somebody's faith level to increase today. Your faith level, let it go higher. Hallelujah. He said if your faith is as small, a mustard seed is very tiny and your faith can be bigger than that mustard seed. He said you can say to that mountain, what is that mountain before Zerubbabel? That shall become a plain in the name of King Jesus Christ. Whatever it is, I do not care to know. But tonight, I have come to tell somebody, enough is enough for that situation. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You know, God has made us the way we are. He has made us, but we are, we are living here. But we, we, he said we are joint heirs with Christ. That is deep. That is spiritual. I am joint heirs. Ha, me, I have inheritance with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You, you have inheritance with your Lord and Savior Jesus. We are joint heirs with him. Hallelujah. So that makes me what? I am a spirit having a soul and living in this body. Praise the King of glory. So also you, you have a spirit in you. Your spirit, he said, and he said, if that same spirit that raised Jesus, ah, if that same spirit that raised King Jesus, if that same spirit that raised Jesus from the grave, if it dwells in you, I want to ask somebody, is that same spirit that raised King Jesus Christ, is it dwelling inside of you? Please just tell me yes or no. There's a way you will know. Is that spirit dwelling in you? Is that same spirit dwelling in you? If that same spirit is dwelling in you, then Today, you are going to tell that witchcraft activity in your life. Tonight, end of story, end of discussion. That same spirit, that witchcraft, occultic, demonic, marine, whatever, leviathan, whatever they are called tonight, they have to flee in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Some of you, you have prayed and prayed and cried to God and prayed and cried to God. And that situation is not going. Ah, 
Plan B is here. Hallelujah. Do you know what plan B is? <laughs> the Bible says, study to show thyself. He said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. If you have the knowledge of who Christ is, my God, ah, you will not, you will pray, but you will not pray too much. If you have the knowledge of who Christ is, he says, when Satan came, Satan himself came to him. And what did he, how did he defeat him? He said, it is written. My God, he said, it is written. And when he said it is written, meaning it is done, mighty God, hallelujah, we give you praise. Say it is written. And when he finished his work, he was crucified. And then he rose again and he's alive. And he's telling us we overcame him. That same Satan is coming against us. We overcame him. With what? By the blood. The blood is available. The blood is available. The blood is available. Why are you not using the blood? The blood is available. Maybe you are using the blood and it's not working because there's some sins that you need to discover and get rid of. The blood, the blood. So we overcame him. I, so if I am an overcomer, why are all these witches fighting against you? If you are an overcomer, why are these demons, this voodoo power, why are they attacking you? Why? Is, what is that door that is open? Because he says, we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So why are you still going through that battle every night they are coming sleep paralysis all those demonic attacks witches are putting um pins in voodoo dolls and co conjuring your spirit why will your spirit be summoned by witches and warlocks when the bible says we overcame him by the blood of the lamb if you are really under that blood why would that situation be happening hallelujah today we say enough is enough to every trespasser. Do you know why they are trespassing? Do you know why they are trespassers? Because they know that you don't know the truth. <laughs> and the Bible says, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. I want to know the truth today. I want you to know the truth today. Because the truth is what will set you free. The truth is what will give you power enough, faith enough to conquer that demon. Conquer those enemies that come against you in the name of King Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you all especially. I will call your names later. Praise God. God bless you. Let me just continue with this flow. Amen. Whatever that situation is, they have summoned, they have summoned your name in different different shrines. So they have summoned your name and they have summoned your spirits and they are working against, oh my God, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Because why? He says, we overcame him. Even if they call my name in any shrine, I overcame him by the blood of the lamb. The moment they call my name, they will see the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When they call upon my name, when they see the blood, ah, they go back and say, God, what is this? What is this? That is who we are. That is the hedge that we have over us. Brothers and sisters, if you do not know, today, wake up. Let all of us be alert. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Be sensitive. Be discerning. Hallelujah. Be discerning. Praise the King of glory. Let us be discerning so that we will know the power that we have. We have power in the name of King Jesus Christ. We have power as believers. We have power in his name. There's power in his name. If only we know the truth. If only we know the truth. If only we know the truth. Today I just said, no, you know what? Somebody talked with me yesterday and oh my days, I was angry. I said, no, Satan, you are a liar. Satan will come with lies to tell people, to show people in their dreams. And somebody else talked with me. Another person talked with me again. I said, no. People, people going through this. The devil is a lie. I want to tell you the truth today. Satan has deceived so many people by coming to show you different fearful dreams. My God, those dreams are just dreams because the enemy, God will not do anything except he reveal it to his servants, the prophets. So if you dream dreams, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. But some fearful dreams can come to you. The enemy wants you to be afraid. They want you to be afraid so that you will not carry out that assignment that God has put for you. Praise the mighty King. So that you will not carry that assignment. There was a time, let me just tell you this before I go ahead with what I want to say about the unseen world, unseen realm. Praise the Lord. I had a dream because you know, I usually go on the streets to preach 
and then sometimes we come across all these kinds of spirits praise the lord so in on the streets that's where you meet the real that's the real world not in the churches on the streets that's when you really that's where the church is hallelujah that's what we usually say the streets where that's where the real church is because that's where you meet the real people praise the lord hallelujah so i i um when was it some people gave their lives to christ and then the week after the week after something god revealed to me a lot of things happening and before they happened god just showed me and i and i said it and it just came like that praise god then i now had this revelation where i saw i was driving and someone was following me with a gun and then you know bread is the word of god and the bread a loaf of bread the particular bread that i love is called brioche and this bread was on the street and then this person was coming after me on a bike and the person had gone you know the person was coming and in my mind i was like i'm going to just drive this car and just push this person off the street because I know that this person is coming with a gun to shoot me, you know. So as I was doing that, and it occurred to me that this person is coming closer, and the person was closer, close at the moment the person was close to me, and I heard the person's voice. I know who the person is. Brothers and sisters, whoever is close to you, be very careful. And the person just said something. I won't say what the person said. That was how I knew that it was that person. Praise the Lord. I said, What? So this person can be after me like this, you know, it might not be the literally, it might not mean that same gun, but the person had a gun, you know, and wanted to shoot me. And then bread, which is the word of God, was on the streets. Just because of that bread on the street, the person wants to shoot me. Praise the Lord. And death was coming. And that came, and another time again, death, and somebody told me, and somebody, uh, I received a message that death, 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 I said, ah, this these people, they want to stop me. So I was thinking, I said, it's like I'm receiving too many messages now. Maybe I shouldn't go to the street this weekend. Look, when it got to that day, I said, Satan, you are a liar. You cannot stop me from the work of God. What? The Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Except God has written for me to say, this is the end. This is the end of your time. I would say, okay, Father, thank you. Hallelujah. And he would tell me, well done, my good and faithful servant. But it is not his will for us right now. This is not time. It's not time. I said, Satan, you are a liar. So they just showed me that so that I won't go on the street. Lie. I carried my speaker and boom, boom, boom. That day was powerful. I said, you see what the enemy was trying to do? That is how the enemy comes to you in your dream. And who is the enemy? Say, comes, the thief cometh not, John 10, 10, cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and then to destroy. But God Almighty has come to give us life. Abundant life is in him. Hallelujah. If you believe it, say amen. No power anywhere else except through the power in the name of King Jesus Christ. If the enemy is attacking you, there's something powerful inside of you. If you see them constantly coming against you, you carry something heavy. Hallelujah. Do not take anything for any less. If they come against you, they have to, if they're not coming against you, forget it. You don't have nothing that they have. They, you don't have anything that they need. But because of that grace upon you, because of that mighty grace, your glory, hallelujah, the restoration of your glory, the enemy wants to come against you and bring you down. That is, they have the assignment to bring you down. But your assignment is to keep them under your feet. Because you say, we bruise, I bruise Satan under my feet shortly. That is your own assignment. So if you remember that, know that the devil is under my feet. Satan is under my feet, under my feet, under my feet. Satan is under my feet. Hey, now my victory is complete. Jesus broke principalities and made sure of them openly under my feet. Satan is under your feet, somebody. If you believe that he's under your feet, I want you to type it. He is under your feet. Why are you going through all that you are going through? Because they want to take what belongs to you. Because they want to stop you. Because they have been trying so hard to stop you, to quench your glory, to stampede upon you, to quench what you have. 
Don't allow it. Do not give the enemy any chance. Do not allow it. Hallelujah. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you. There's so much locked up inside of, you know, how a, a, a giant can be sleeping. We have so many sleeping giants. I always say it here and here. I'm looking at sleeping giants. You are giants in the spirit realm. Wake up. It's time to put on the whole armor. Put on your whole armor. Wake up. Arise. Mighty soldiers of the most high. Hallelujah. Giants. What are you people doing? How can a giant sit down and just be watching when war is going on? What are you doing? It is an error for a giant to sit down when war is going on. Rise up. There is power inside of you. There is mighty grace. Some of you, you have grace to deliver people. Some of you, you have grace to set people free. But you just allow that grace to lie down. So many of you here, if I just tell me, I can call your names according as I'm seeing you. I will just call your name and say, this is you, 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 you are, you are supposed to do. You know yourself. You know what God has been revealing to you. So many things locked up inside of you and you've allowed it to be locked up. It's time to open up. It's time to wake up. It's time to rise up in the spirit of Zerubbabel say, and say, enough is enough. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. I cannot be put down. There was a time years ago I was working in a bank. Ah, my experience in the bank was uh, like some parts of it was beautiful, but some parts was terrible. It's like my screen is frozen again. I rebuke this work in the name of King Jesus Christ. And I command you to work. Can you hear me? My screen is frozen. Satan, you are a liar. I must say what I have to say today. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? My screen is frozen. The devil is a liar. I was working in the bank and then I had this situation it was so bad please if you can hear me let me know or if it's just from here the devil is a loser satan you have lost you have lost the bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood can you people hear me my screen is frozen praise the king of glory I don't know why this thing keeps happening like this, but it's gonna come on. I'm going to wait. Can you hear me? Oh, you said, yes, you can hear me, but the screen is frozen. <laughs> uh, okay, praise the Lord, you can hear me, okay. I'll just be patient, I'll just keep talking. It will come back on, praise the Lord. So the time I was working, I had, this was years ago, like, was it 2004 or 2000? And, yeah, about 
my victory is complete. Jesus broke principalities and make sure of the most please. Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the mighty king. The king of kings. Hallelujah. Satan is under our feet. The devil is a liar. We continue. <laughs> There's a song, I think, who sang it? One of those popular celebrity musicians. We move, we move. I think we move. Have you heard that song before? We move, we are moving. Praise the King of Glory. It's okay now. Okay. God bless. Hallelujah. So I was, um, what was I saying? I was talking about this wizard that came. Oh my days, it was bad. When what happened? I'm trying to catch up from where I stopped because of this short clip. But anyways, let us continue with what we have to say today. Praise the Lord when I will remember. Praise the mighty King Jesus. Most of us, most of you, I discover you go through witchcraft attacks. These witches... I just want to tell somebody that these witches, they have no power. Sometimes you have dreams. Sometimes in your dreams, they come to attack you. You know, if someone you know is experiencing strange dreams, unusual activities, you know, it's important to know that just praying sometimes might not be enough. It, it works, but it might not be enough, okay? Because experiences may result in manipulative demonic force to overcome them. But fasting must be accompanied. You have to pray and fast and seek God. If you are, if you want to go through self-deliverance, thank you so much. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We thank God we are back. Fasting has to be accompanied with it. Praise the Lord. To cancel some negative dreams and prevent manifestation. Sometimes you dream of something and really, before you know it, the dream will happen automatically. You'll be wondering, ah, what happened? But I prayed. Why, why did it still happen? Praise the Lord. But so many, there are so many cases involved, so many situations involved. Praise the Lord. Most of us, we just don't know how to address situations when it happens. Praise God. Sometimes we dream. Sometimes in our dreams, God will be showing us this is what is about to happen. Some dreams will indicate the presence of witchcraft. You know, witchcraft, you can say, is sorcery. It can be uh, Shango, familiar practices, marine witchcraft, Obia, Santaria, sorcery, whatever you call them, everything it is manipulation. As long as it's manipulation, is witchcraft. As long as it's, it has to do it to manipulate a victim from a spiritual perspective, but you, you, the person is trying to subdue that spirit by controlling that spirit and controlling the person's soul through demonic powers. Sometimes they can have somebody's soul trapped. I was telling somebody yesterday that I, I overheard somebody talking about uh, her experience. And the moment I left where I was listening to it, I came back into the room. And what came to me was um, the person's snow. The person's soul was, was trapped. Sometimes, you will see some people, some people, you will see them trapped. You know when you hear people say people are trapped in a bottle, you think it's a joke, but it's real. You see some people trapped. I've seen a situation where some people were in prison. Like, you will know that these people are in prison. And you see the gatekeepers in that prison. You see some evil princes holding on to those people, keeping them bound. Some people in chains in the realm of the spirit. This is why I said the spirit world, the unseen world is big is huge this physical world people just go about their business but things happen in the spirit realm that is why we as children of god we should be discerning should have knowledge of god's word and be well equipped because if you are not well equipped the enemy they know they they double they are going into the spiritual realm in the wrong way because they are not they are trespassers but we as children of god we are entitled to those but we are not using what god has given to us Praise the Lord. We have so much that God has deposited inside of us. 
He says he has given us all that pertains to life and godliness. But most times, we as children of God, we don't use what God gives to us. We don't use it. Instead, we run to someone who we feel can see, a seer. But I'm telling you, you might run to somebody who is a seer, but you are a greater prophet than that seer. You don't know. But the moment you subdue yourself under someone, that person becomes higher than you. Praise the Lord. That Sometimes you can go to some people. Before you know it, the dream that you used to dream, you will no longer be dreaming. Praise God. Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? And is the stream, is the screen, okay, somebody said the screen is frozen. Is the screen frozen? Joyce, he said we can hear you, but the screen is. Is the screen, what about the screen? Is it working? Is it okay? I see yes, I see no. <laughs> Say the screen is okay and we can hear you. <laughs> Just write like that, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just write and please be clear. Say the screen is okay. We can't hear you now. Ah, ah. Please. <laughs> if you can't hear me, that means something else is wrong. It's working. Okay, praise God. Okay. Okay. Okay, say so it's not frozen. Screen okay and we can hear you better. That's it. IT specialist, thank you. <laughs> Praise the King of Glory. So, I was talking about. They say it's okay, perfect. Okay, the screen is okay. Great, great, great. Okay, praise the Lord. So, if it, if you say it's frozen, maybe check your end, log out, and come back in. Whoever that whoever is experiencing that that issue, log out and come back in. Praise the Lord. So, as I was saying, some controlling powers they tend to carry, put somebody's fragment of somebody's soul. This, what I'm saying, eh? If I, this, I will not be able to break down everything at once because it will be too long and then too many informations at once. So, but I will just do the best I can today and then we'll break it down again continuously. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to the King of glory. So just listen attentively, you know, witches and warlocks i don't know people are very afraid of them the moment you see someone you say ah the person is a witch you start running no you don't have to run because we have a hedge over us the bible says if that's a spirit that praise jesus hey listen that same spirit that same it's not another spirit the same spirit that raised king jesus christ if that same spirit dwells inside of you my god is that spirit dwelling inside of you? Please answer yes or no. If that same spirit that raised Jesus from the grave, is that, if I realize that that is the same spirit that raised Jesus from the grave, is the same spirit that is dwelling inside of me. Ah, hey, who is that mountain over the Rubabel? Who is that demonic witch? Who is that lesser power that is coming against me? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Who is that evil spirit that is coming after me? When I know that the same spirit that, dwell, that raised my king of kings from the grave is dwelling inside of me. Ah, he said he shall quicken my mortal body. So those spirits, those wizards, there is a craft. Those witches, witch or wizard, they set, set up evil altars against their victim. Praise the Lord. They set up evil altars against their victim and they project curses. And these curses sometimes can disable specific areas of people's lives. They can carry somebody's fragment or put conjure somebody's spirit and put in a bottle and begin to put uh, or begin to pour all kinds of things upon that person. Sometimes they can do an effigy. You know what effigy is? A voodoo doll. They can put a voodoo, do a voodoo, voodoo doll. I cover whatever I'm saying with the blood of Jesus. They can and I I uproot every every blockade in somebody's mind in the name of King Jesus Christ. I uproot every blockade in somebody's mind that will block you from hearing the truth in the name of Jesus. It's uprooted and let the word of God permeate your being, your soul and spirit be alert in the name of King Jesus Christ. Psalm 140 verse seven, Father, protect our heads in the days of battle, cover our backs. Protect our heads in the days of battle. Cover our backs. Father, protect the heads of everyone 
in the days of battle. Cover their backs, O God, in the name of King Jesus Christ. Psalm 138 verse 3 said, um, Father, strengthen me with strength in my soul. I want you, wherever you are, pray this prayer. Strengthen me with strength in my soul. In the name of King Jesus Christ. Father, strengthen me with strength in my soul. Holy Ghost, strengthen me with strength in my soul. King of glory, strengthen me with strength in my soul. Pray, 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 pray. Wherever you are, pray. Strengthen me. Tell God to strengthen you with strength in your soul. Because these things I'm going to say now. So it's like the the enemy is trying to block some people's minds from hearing what I'm saying and block some people to say, mm, what is she just to ignore it? No, just know that if you are trying to ignore it, your enemy is under siege. Sometimes some people can be under siege. How? They'll carry a voodoo doll, put pins around it, put pins and begin to tamper with it. That person will be having headache. You see headache, 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 weakness, 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 sleepiness, sleepiness, sleepiness all the time. The person is weak spiritually. All of a sudden, physically, they are trying to attack that person as much as possible. Five witches can come together now and hold on. They, they work with in agreement. There was a time God showed me how they operate, how these demons operate. They go two by two. Some of them go two, 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 two into somebody's communication system. He was showing me how they were entering the person's house. How? Through their communication system. Two, two. Praise the King of Glory. That is what we are dealing with. This unseen realm is bigger than what we think. But we, children of God, we need to be well equipped. We are soldiers marching as the war. Hallelujah. We are supposed to be soldiers. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, going on before Christ, the royal master, lead against the foe, forward into battle, see his banner go. Okay, onward, Christian soldiers, marching us to war with the cross of Jesus, going on before the cross of Jesus Christ is before. Is going on before us. Wherever you have, you have a shield. A fort, you are in a fortified fortress. No demon is supposed to come and attack your head. Attack you, attack you. No, it's an error. Today, let that error be corrected. Wherever you are, rise up, cry out and say, Father, every error must be corrected. In the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. Every error, every error, whatever the enemy has filtered into your ears, every lies the devil has told you, it must be erased from your mind. It must be erased from your soul. In the name of King Jesus Christ. Today, so, as I was praying, it says, um, Father, strengthen me with strength in my soul. When your soul is weak, when your soul is weak, that is when the Holy Spirit cannot dwell there. The time your soul is weak, the enemy comes to attack your soul. The enemy comes to attack your mind. Sometimes, you, the Bible, that's why the Bible wrote, it said, my soul is escaped as a bird. Praise God. As I was listening, as I heard the person, I was like, oh, what is happening to this person? The moment I came into the room, that scripture came. He said, my soul is escaped. The person's soul is ensnared. The person's soul is in a trap. When the soul is trapped, the person is weak. It's like somebody in a cage. Take, for instance, this bottle of water. Do you understand? This is water. And what is inside this water? Assume that this what is inside this bottle is human being. That human being is trapped because the, there's a lock on it. But when I open the lock, that water, I can pour that water out. But when this lock is on, that water can stay there and it will not move. That is how somebody's soul can be trapped in a bottle. And whatever happens, anytime I come, I can carry sand and throw inside this bottle and lock it back. I can carry pins and throw inside this bottle and lock it back. I can't, that is what the witches and warlocks do to people who are their targets. That is how they manipulate people's minds. You see some people sometimes, they are dizzy, they throw dizzy spells against you. You are dizzy, you don't know what you are doing. All of a sudden you see yourself lightheaded. Sometimes you see yourself weak. Ah, what is happening? All of a sudden you are weak. Sometimes you are, you are drained. Blood suckers, they are draining you, praise God. The enemy, they are draining. Sometimes you go to the store. This mostly, mostly happens when you go to grocery stores. Some people are there not for the right reason. 
some witches purposely in their hearts just go to drain you. The moment some, some people might know you, some people that you know, they will say, ah, I need a hug. The moment they hug you and then they touch your back, the spine. I've talked about chakra before here. I've not been able to explain. So many Christians dabble into witchy, witchcraft activities without you knowing it. But you are dabbling into it and you begin to receive attacks. You're wondering, which door did I open? Why are these attacks coming? Because you have opened doors. All those doors. Sometimes you go to yoga, you go to all those places. Reiki specialists will work on you. Before you know it, you, they've zapped your energy. They've taken what you, you have. It's like you are drained. I taught how my sister went to make her hair. After making her hair, she finished making her hair. All of a sudden, the salonist just put something in her hand and said, oh, you're ready? She just hit her head. Boom! The moment she hit her forehead, she said that was all she remembered. The moment that woman touched her head, thinking that the woman was using cream to rub her head, but the moment it touched her head, she said she started losing strength. She stood up. She could not even walk. She could barely carry herself into the car. The car was right in front of them. She carried herself, entered the car, and they were asking her, what happened? What's going on? What's going on? She said she could not get herself for days. You can imagine the kind of manipulation. It's like you carry yourself to a witchcraft coven. They can do whatever they want because you are the one that carried yourself there. But what I'm telling you today, the Bible says, greater is he that is in you. Ah, when the Bible says, my head, it says, as adamant harder than flint, Ezekiel 3, 9. As adamant harder than flint, he said, he has made my forehead. My God, as adamant harder than flint, he has made my forehead. He said, he will grant me grace and glory against what? Every rebellious house. Rebellion is likened to witchcraft. So if he says he will grant you grace and glory and power over them, you will overtake them. You will overcome them in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. Our only hope is in his word. Our way out is in his word. The secret to waging war and winning these witches and wizards is God's word. It's, what did he say? It is written. It is written. You have to know his word in every situation. Praise the King of glory. Like I was saying, these um, witches and warlocks, they project curses. They project, like I was describing with this bottle, they project things into it. At the end of the day, the person becomes weak. At the end of the day, the person doesn't even know what he or she is doing. Sometimes you cannot even pick up your book and read. You cannot even pick up the Bible and read. You cannot even worship God because they cast spirit of heaviness will come upon the person. Before you know it, you are weak. You cannot even do things of God. You, When it comes to reading the word of God, you are tired, you are sleeping. It's a spirit attached to it. That spirit has been cast. It's like they are trained projecting curses. But how do you do it? You disable those curses with the power of God, with the word of God. It's a common misconception that not believing in witchcraft will prevent it from... Some people will say, I don't believe in those things. I don't, I don't, I don't believe they exist. You not believing that they exist is a very definition that they have already captured your mind. You not believing that they exist, that shows that you're already in their web. They have already trapped. Some people will say they don't dream. Why? You dream, but they erase that thoughts before you wake up because dream, God gives us dreams. is information. He's giving us, he's telling us what is about to take place or showing us our present state. But some people say they don't dream. The enemy has erased that part of you so that you will not get those information that God is trying to give to you. But today I'm telling somebody, the Bible says we overcame him by the blood of the lamb. And he said, if that same spirit, that same spirit, if he dwells, let him come. In fact, you declare in your words, declare with your mouth. Says, you say your husband says they don't exist. Declare with your mouth and say, if that's truly, if that same spirit, I want to know whether that same spirit that raised Jesus from the grave, if he dwells, do you have the Holy Spirit? It's not just about you having the Holy Spirit one. You have to still continue in God's word. Stay in his word. Because that's double pursuer, that's double situations that keeps coming. Some people suffer from sleep paralysis. Every night, they are coming to press them. Every night, you are shouting, ye, ye. you cannot even shout Jesus out. That is an error. Any spirit responsible, whatever it is that has opened the door in your home for them to come in. Today, I'm telling somebody, Arise and give them quick notice. 
in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. Grant them quick notice today in the name of Jesus. Like I said, some people don't believe. Witchcraft can even operate in somebody, regardless whether they believe or not, because it's foiled by that person's ignorance. If somebody dismisses and somebody rejects the existence of witchcraft, it gives the, the witches and the practicer, the people who practice, the advantage to oppress that victim. Praise God. It gives them the power to oppress that victim. Hosea chapter 4 verse 8 says, my people are destroyed due to lack of knowledge because you don't know. That is why the thing is affecting you. You don't know how to handle it. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you see some people losing their shoes in their dream. Sometimes people having sex in the dream. Sometimes all kinds of stuff. People are being pressed. Some people like spirits will come into the the room and begin to press you. It's like, as if they are trying to take authority over, they have authority already. But before they can do that, sometimes they feed people in the dream to weaken your spiritual life so that they'll be able to permeate you and carry out their different activities. But I'm telling you today, if that same spirit that raised King Jesus from the grave, if it dwells in you today, that evil incessant attacks must cease by fire in the name of King Jesus Christ. As long as you are ready to open your heart and ready to wage war with the enemy. How do you wage war with the enemy? So we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world. Say spiritual wickedness in high places. I will tell you this situation. We were going for an investigation. Then I used to work in, in the bank back home. We we're going for an investigation. I don't know if I've said this before. And then before, no, before they asked me to join the, before my chief inspector asked me to join the, the group, my immediate boss traveled from another city and came. And he was sitting in front of me. Praise the Lord. He was sitting right in front of me. My head of operations was on my left side while I was, he was sitting in front of me. Praise my King Jesus. Hallelujah. So the moment he sat in front of me, all of a sudden, he told me, he said, I'm going, I don't want to mention the name of the place. He said, I'm going to so 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 branch in so 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 place. And when he said that, a week before that, I had a dream about that particular place. So I said, ah, Mr. Ismaila, you're going to that place. I said, I saw myself that I went to that place, so something happened. He said, really? So the moment he started, the moment we started having that conversation, it's like the unction came upon me. And I said, Mr. Ismaila, can you do me a favor? Can you just give me, write the list of people in that branch? I was not looking at what this man was writing. He was sitting right opposite me. I was not looking. I was sitting opposite him and I was doing my own thing. I said, write the list. This is my boss, my immediate boss. I said, write the list. He now wrote the list. And then the moment he finished, I said, circle number three. The person you wrote on number three, this is this, this is that. The person, the person's name that is on number one, he has a daughter, he did it. Prophetic, like it was as if it, the, the atmosphere of the prophetic just opened. Like the unseen realm just opened. And then he started flowing. And as this was happening, I kept on going. I never knew that even my head of operations stopped his work and he was looking right at both of us what was happening. So the moment I finished, went, 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 number 11, this, da, 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 just like that, I finished. And then my boss was like, wow, powerful. He said, the last time I went there, ha, something happened. I said, yes, they put something in your drink. You were having running stomach. Hey. So this boss now went, my immediate boss now went. And then he told my chief inspector behind my back, he said, I have someone because there were supposed to be three people on that trip for that investigation because there was a big fraud in that branch. So he now told my chief inspector behind my back, he said, please, sir, I need to add one person into a, 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 to join my team, one resident controller. So chief inspector asked him, he said, it's me. So chief inspector now okayed it and said, they should get me ready and I should go with them on that trip on Tuesday. The next thing I received the call, and my boss now told me, this was when he had gone and then he called me and said, get ready. The chief inspector said, you're coming on the trip. I said, what is wrong? I told you that something happened when I went to that place. 
He said, I'm not hearing anything because he was my boss. He said, get ready, you are coming. This was what was going to open up a different, like a different, a whole new level of my life. I didn't know what I was going to meet. I didn't know what I was expect. I was not expecting anything except for the dream I had before I went to that branch. And lo and behold, so many things happened. That is a, it's going to be in a book that I'm putting up, praise God. So, so many things happened in that place. But one of the things that happened, I want to say this. After so many things, each day was different. God would just reveal to us. And then I would tell my team, I say, look, as we are going today, let us pray. Because we had to stay in another city to go to this place. Because this place, this mission we're going for, it was a dangerous mission. All over the the all over the all the other branches they were hearing what was happening when we were going for this particular um investigation i wish i wish someday one person from that uh, our group will come across one of these videos and the person will the, i just pray i just pray one of them is is smiler azekome that's his name I can, that's my immediate boss i cannot forget the other one the other two are two different people but i believe Someday I'm still looking out for them. And I know they are looking for me so true too. Praise the Lord. So there was a particular day we entered that place. I'm telling you what God can do. God can do all things. Sometimes we struggle with different things. We don't realize that we have a mighty God who is able to make us escape every situation. We got to this branch. This had already started happening on the way when we were traveling because we're staying like 20 minutes from where the city where we were staying to the place where we were investigating this fraud praise god so as we were coming the lord started you know ministering to me that when we get there this is what has already taken place because they know we are coming and that place different investigators have gone there they were not able to find anything so before you get there this 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 this, this. i said okay then i now told my team I said, before we get there, please make sure we do this. We do this because God just told me, he said, they have marked the chairs. They kept four chairs for us and they marked those chairs. He said, we should make sure that we don't sit on those four chairs because they have already marked those chairs. So guess what happened? When we got there, I, I told before, before we got there, I told my team, I said, the Lord is telling me now, please, if you people like your life, you three, because they were men. I said, you men. Some of you like women. In this trip, if you follow any women, you will kill yourself. This is a suicide mission that we're going. If you follow, if you drink alcohol or you follow me, you have to repent because this trip is a very dangerous trip. I said, do you hear me? Because, you know, most auditors, they like women. I said, for this trip, there's nothing like that that will happen. All of you, you have to be in prayer. Everybody said, okay. So I just told them, heads up that this is what we're going to meet i said we're going to this branch the lord is telling me now that when we get there please they have marked the chairs that we are supposed to sit down because they were going to create the manager's office for us to use for that investigation so i said they've marked the chairs make sure don't sit yet when we get in we'll pray first then let the holy spirit take control boom the moment we parked the car and we entered the branch the People, the, the head of operations just took us to the, the to the manager's office because they said the manager was on vacation. And that is the office we're going to use. Just ushered us into the office and said, people should sit down. The moment the other guy who followed, the, because we were four of us, four, me, the only female, and three uh, men, one of them just looked and said, yeah, you said it. Look, oh, they marked the chairs, they marked the chairs. Oh, hey, he just... So you can see one slight mark on one of the chairs. And then that was what drew his attention. Then we started looking at the other chairs there. They were marked except for one chair that was not marked. And that was the main chair for the manager. But the chairs that they kept for us, they marked those chairs. I now said, okay, you know what? Let us pray. So I held there, three of them. I held, we all held our hands and we prayed. I said, I'm going to tell you people, what would have happened to us if we if we had sat on these chairs that they marked? You people will see it on somebody that is going to come into this office. Just watch. I said, who has an handkerchief? 
my boss said, take, I have. I said, I'm going to destroy this handkerchief. He said, please go ahead. I don't know. I'm just saying this because it's part of my book anyways, part of my experience in the banking sector. So I took that handkerchief and then I prayed on all the four chairs that they put those things. I used that handkerchief. I prayed as if I, you know, prophetically took out those charms that they put on the four chairs. And I put the handkerchief on the floor and I said, everybody stretch forth your feet and then let us pray. Whatever they have put on these chairs, we command it to come into this handkerchief and as we will destroy this handkerchief in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. And we decree and declare that that chair, somebody is going to sit on that chair. We will see what they have meant, what the enemy meant for evil. God has turned it around. God will now show us what was intended for us. We finished praying. And then we took the handkerchief and we were going to burn it. Lo and behold, we started walking. As we were working, something else happened. I will not go into that one. Then somebody came from another branch. He heard that we were coming to that branch. He came from that branch to greet us. The moment he came, he now sat on that chair that I said, they should watch out. What they meant for us is going to happen if somebody sits on that chair. Lo and behold, that guy sat on that chair. Somebody who came for work, he sat on that chair from that morning till we left. This guy slept from that morning till we left. So the plan of the enemy was for us to come for this in, in, investigation and sleep from morning till, night, till afternoon. When it's afternoon, we'll carry our bag. We will not see anything. We'll go tomorrow. We'll come back again for the investigation. Sleep. This was how occultic these people were. It was how demonic. At last, so many things happened, like I said. I will not say everything today. At the end of the investigation, after so many weeks, we now finally heard because I was going out one day and I said, we should pray on our car before we leave. So they didn't remember. Somebody just quickly started the engine and smoke started coming out from the bonnet. And the other one said, but she told us to pray first before we enter the car. You were too quick to start the engine. I, I just quickly came out. I said, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. What happened? They said they started the engine and the smoke started coming out of the bonnet. I said, don't worry. I said, let us pray. We prayed quickly. The smoke stopped. And God now opened my eyes to see under the front tire, there was one pump kernel, little pump kernel. You see, when people are doing jazz, when people are doing juju, voodoo, terrible. The, this thing was under the front tire. God now told me that I should tell my boss that he should try to turn the tire so that it doesn't touch that thing because that was a trap. If he touches that thing, if we enter the road, accident, all of us will be gone. So I called him. I said, Mr. Ismaila, can you do me a favor? He said, yes. I said, look at this thing. I said, can you turn this tire? Turn it so hard that it will not touch this thing. He said, I will try. You know, I see all of them, they were panicking. These were people who used to carry women all the time. In this trip, nobody misbehaved. Everybody became born again in that trip. Lo and behold, this guy turned the tire at the end of the day. When he turned, I said, okay, go. He said, okay, I should move. I said, yes, move. He now moved it. I said, three of you enter the car. They said, how about you? I said, just enter. They said, no, we cannot live with that. I said, just, can you guys move outside the gate? I'm coming. The moment I turned to look back at the people in the branch through the glass, everybody just went like that because they were peeping at us and peeping what was happening. So I took up my took up the shoes from my feet, and I just put the Bible says wherever the soles of your feet tread upon, you possess. I decree and declared that whatever has been buried in that land, God, let it be scattered in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. I made so many declarations. Prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. I didn't care who, were, who was looking at me. And then I finished. I used my bare feet. I had my shoes. I walked out, entered the car. So I was going, I was throwing up to tell you how demonic that the things that they buried in that place was bad. Later, they called my boss and said, who is this person that followed you people on the trip? Because they didn't know me. Say, is she a pastor from a witch branch? They couldn't even, this God hid me for them not to even know where I came from. Praise the Lord. So, what am I saying? At the end of the day, at the end of the, the investigation, we discovered that they buried a live cow in that branch. Live cow. They dug the ground because we saw one, one heap at one corner of the uh, fence, but we didn't know what happened there. 
But later they started confessing that they buried live cow in that branch. Why? Because we were coming so that we will not see anything, so that we will not be able to investigate anything. Like I said, it's going to be in my book, my experience in the bank. What am I saying here? Witchcraft is real. Some people think, ah, I don't believe in it. I don't. The enemy has blinded. See, the God of this world has blinded them so that they will not believe, so that they will not know that it's true, so that the enemy can have access over their lives. But I'm telling you today, if you have the spirit, that same spirit that raised Jesus from the grave, if that same spirit dwells in you, whether you are dreaming of bats, you are dreaming of spider, you are dreaming of snakes, strange creatures, dreaming of roaches, witchcraft, poverty, because those roaches, they come spirit of destruction, poverty, witchcraft, whatever it is, all those dreams of sometimes you carrying unbearable loads. Some people will see themselves losing their purses, losing their handbags in dreams. All those are indications of witchcraft initiation. They are trying so hard. Sometimes you see masquerades, like somebody, if you are here, you see masquerades. What are masquerades? They are masquerading. These are familiar spirits. They are masquerading themselves so that you know, why would somebody wear a mask? So that you will not see the person's face. Why will somebody put on mask? Why will somebody cover the, the face with mask? Because the person doesn't want you to, to recognize that person. But that person knows you. That is masquerade. Masquerading themselves. That's familiar spirit. Ancestral spirit. Spirit, sometimes spirit of the dead. Dead relatives pursuing somebody. What, why would dead, what has the dead has to do with the living? That's a huge question. You see masquerade in your dream. Wake up. It's time to pray. Praise God. It's time to pray. Sometimes they cover them, their faces to come and attack you or to come and initiate you or to come and cause poverty in your life. If there's poverty in that lineage, they are coming to want to repeat that. If there's lack, delay, stagnation in that lineage, they are coming to repeat it in your life because why are you seeing them? Why are they coming? They want that same thing to replicate itself in your life. If, they, if constantly you see them pursuing you, masquerade pursuing you, are running and they are pursuing you. Why are they pursuing you? There must be something that they want to put upon you. Either they want to initiate you or they want to subdue you. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters in Christ, you are bought with a price. You are bought with a price. You are under the blood. At the last time I checked, he said, we overcame him. We overcome that masquerade. We overcome that familiar spirit. We overcome that witches and warlocks. We overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. You are an overcomer. I want you to tell yourself today, you are an overcomer. All those spirits, spirit of the dead, they come dead spirit. They come, want to initiate you. Sometimes they project spirit of death around you somebody to be following the person up and down you'll be seeing dead relatives why are you seeing those dead relatives god is trying to expose their secrets to you so what do you do ah, i must not die but live i cannot die i shall not die but live to declare the goodness of god in the land of the living satan you are a liar because he has given us what authority to trample upon serpents scorpions over all the power of the enemy he said death and life are in the power of my tongue. If he, if the enemy is masquerading, showing masquerading in your dreams and sending those spirits of death against you, what is the word of God concerning that? It is written, you see, death and life are in the power of the tongue. The last time I checked, he said, the one that has the keys of death and hell is my savior, my king. Hallelujah. The one that has the keys of death and hell is my heavenly father. And if I say, Father, he said, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. No power can subdue you. Even if they've been trying all this while, they've been trying to manipulate your spirit. They've been trying to manipulate your soul. It's time for you to say, my soul escape as a bird from the snare of the father. Every trap must be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, my soul escape as a bird from the snare of the father. He said, the snare is broken. The snare is broken. Why did he say the snare is broken? Because you are praying towards it. You are praying and declaring your word that you are releasing is bombing them. 
Your words are like bombs. Hallelujah. Your words are releasing missiles against the kingdom of darkness. Because why? They cannot bound you. They cannot keep you bound. Why? Because you pay upon your body the mark of our Lord and Savior, King Jesus. And the last time I, I checked, he said in him was the life. The life was the light of men. The light shines in darkness. Darkness cannot comprehend it. Who is that mountain before Zerubbabel? Who is that demonic mountain? Masquerade spirit that wants to come and quench me, that wants to come and cause death upon me. My father, in the in the word of God, it says, He said he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon lions and other. The young lion and the dragon shall you trample on the foot because he has set his love upon you. Therefore, he will deliver you. Because God has set his love upon somebody, he will deliver you. He will set you on high because you have known his name. You will call upon him. And he will answer you. As you call upon him today, he will answer you. He will answer you. He will be with you in trouble. He will deliver you. He will honor you with long life. With long life. With long life. With long life, somebody. With long life. Hallelujah. Me with long life. Hallelujah. With long life. He has declared it in his word. I believe his word. The Devil is always a liar. Let God's word be true. He said, with long life, with long life. Can somebody help me finish that? With long life, with long life, not with death. Not with spirit of death. Not with spirit of mermaid. Not with spirit of marine. With long life. Hallelujah. He said he has given you authority. Authority over marine spirit. Authority over voodoo power. Authority over witches and warlocks. Authority over any spirit that is residing in your home. Go and do an overhauling. Do a feasibility study. Today, most people, open, you open doors. We open doors for these demonics to come in. Sometimes we go out, before we go out, we don't even put on the whole armor of God. You go out and just go barefooted. You just go bare-chested. You just go without covering. You go out and then you go finish. As you are coming back, they have projected things into you. Before you know it, the person is sick. Before you know it, the person is down. Why are those things happening? Because there are doors that are open. Today it's time to close those doors. Begin to close those doors in the spirit realm. Begin to talk authority over your domain. You defend your turf. Hallelujah. Defend your turf. Just declare that this place is my territory and I defend it. Hallelujah. This place is my territory. The last time I checked, I paid the, I paid the rent in this place. Satan, you have no place. You cannot come here and sit down in my home. No, I reject. I refuse it. It's an error. Ha! Every error must be corrected in the name of King Jesus Christ. Whatever is going on in your home, I told you, write down in a paper. Write that thing in a paper. Begin to address it today. Because he said, greater is he that is in you. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than that witchcraft that is operating against me. Greater is he. Do you know how many times they've carried my name to different places, different shrines? What are they doing? They just want to get rid of this, this, this human. Hallelujah. Praise God. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Every stubborn pursuer, ha, my God, we are serving. In the name of King Jesus Christ, I pray for them sometimes, for them to give their life to King Jesus Christ. I pray because sometimes God will open my ears just like he opened my ears once. And I was hearing one, he was throwing curses. I was hearing her voice, throwing curses. He said, you with this, you with that, you with this. God opened my soul, my ears to hear. I, my eyes were closed, the early hours of the morning, the incantation that they were doing. He, I was hearing it. Ah, I opened my eyes. I said, no, I reject that. I reverse it. I cancel it. I nullify it in the name of King Jesus Christ. I nullify every diabolical sanctions because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. He said, a curse, costless shall not come. A curse, costless shall not rest. A curse, costless shall not rest. I reverse. I nullify. I 
erase every diabolical sanction, every demonic ruling, every subgirdings. I come against it. I nullify it. I counter it. I destroy it in the name of King Jesus Christ. It will not take root in my life. It will not be fed. It will not be nurtured. It will not be cultivated. It will not be watered. I scatter the effect in the mighty name of King Jesus. And I'm telling somebody today, hallelujah, I'm telling you today, whatever has been happening to you, whatever it is, is it, is it dream attack? Today you have your bed when you, when you go and sleep and you are afraid when you are going to sleep that they are coming. Ah, that's an error. My God. Greater is he that is in you. Greater is he that is in you. If you can hear me, declare it. Greater is he that is in you. Whatever spirit used to come against you when you are sleeping, today, greater is he that is in you. Enough is enough. Greater is he that is in you. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Praise the mighty king. Greater is he that is in you. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Can somebody hear me? I say greater is he that is in you. My God, if only unseen realm we cannot see things happen things move in the unseen realm a lot of trafficking going on sometimes some people just carry your is you that they will put on their head a lot of trafficking in the spirit realm that's the unseen realm things that you cannot see but sometimes god will open your eyes to see them God will just open your eyes. The moment you close your eyes or you have visions or you can have open visions, sometimes you can even sit down, open visions. You can just be seeing what is happening, what the enemy is doing against you. But he's showing you because greater is he that is in you. He has given you power. He has given you authority. He said, I've given you authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means. God is waiting for you to rise up. He's, wait, he's training you. Most of us were in, on the, the training ground. He's training you for battle. He's training you so that you'll become effective. Why would you be a mighty soldier? For you to be able to be a powerful soldier, you have to be able to fight so many battles. You have to be able to go to different battles. That's why he's training you. He's equipping us. Hallelujah. The Bible says, it is good that I've been afflicted, that I might lend thy status. Psalm 119 verse 71. It is good. Why did he say it's good that I've been afflicted? Why? So that I will learn, so that I will learn, so that I will learn. So you declare it is good that you have been afflicted. Because if you have not been afflicted, you will not learn to be able to teach someone else. Praise God. You will not be able to learn to be able to teach someone else. He said, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That is his word. If he says it, he means it. Sometimes you see people eating in their dreams. It's witchcraft activity. Somebody att attempts to contaminate your spirit through dream. It's witchcraft activity. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. They attempt to bewitch you through dreams, to control your, control your mind through dreams, through eating in the dreams. Different situations happening. Praise God. So, so like I said, sometimes you see some people having, I know somebody who the person, uh, was the first time I saw this person, the second time, I knew that something was wrong. And the person always complains about migraine. But God now revealed to me where I saw, it, it was just, I just, I think it was the first or the second day that I met this person that God revealed to me. I saw where somebody covered the face and the person was coming, people were running. People were running. The people were like, look, 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 look. The person was coming. The people were running. And when I looked at the person that was coming, it's a masquerade. The person was covered and was pursuing people. Then all of a sudden, the person went to the back of the building. People were running again. They shouted, shouted that this person is coming. People were running. All of a sudden, this person now walked and came. And the person now removed the mask. I said, ah, so is you? Why are you doing this to people? And all she said was, I'm tired. And then she climbed the bed and laid down. Ah! I said, Jesus is Lord. What kind of spirit is this? I pondered over this. I said, God, is this what this girl, the young girl is going through? The projected spirit of masquerade to her, spirit of rejection, so that people 
when she when people when she's coming nobody wants to be close to her nobody wants to be friends with her people run away from her because something there's a demonic covering of masquerade over her and the way the lord showed me in the spirit realm what the thing looked like very hideous and ugly to the extent that people are seeing it and they are running away that is the kind of thing that they used in covering this young girl very young she's less than 30 years and she's experiencing this kind of thing and then for me to i, I know where the thing is coming from but for if i tell her I, in fact, I, I even told her part of it because I, I was carrying out deliverance for, upon her. Because I, but I didn't want to break her heart. But the person, through the person where it's coming from, the person is so dear to her. The person is so close and so dear to her. So that's why I use wisdom to address it. But I told her bit, 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 bit by bit while I was carrying out deliverance prayers with her, on her. What am I saying? The devil is very wicked. The devil is very wicked. That young girl doesn't even know what she's, she was experiencing. And then when I asked her, she said, ah, when I told her about this thing, this demonic covering, she was like, see what she has suffered all through this life. Nobody wants to talk with her. Nobody wants to associate with her. People, She doesn't even have one single friend. And then what she keeps suffering from is that migraine. I said, this witchcraft activity. She now told me how one spirit came into her room. And then trying to oppress her, say, ah, no, that is deep. Praise the Lord. What are we saying here? God has given us the power. We are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We are redeemed. We are set free. And from every demonic attachment, we are delivered. We cut ties with the old. We enter the new, and the new is the word of God. We cut ties with every ancestral power, every ancestral spirit. We cut ties with them. We break out. We break free. We command our spirit, whoever is here now, begin to command your spirit to come out of every cage. Because before they come to attack you or have sex with you or press you or give you food, they have already projected your soul in a particular place. That's what I'm trying to explain. Like I said, this what I'm saying is deep. I'm trying to rush it and crush it. That's why maybe, I don't know if I'm going straight or if I'm all over the place, but I'm trying to put as many information as possible so that somebody understands. If you belong to that group that you see all these kind of demonic dreams, incessant dream, there's a particular dream that keeps happening, happening, and you don't have power over it. You have power over it. I want to tell you today, that you have power over it. You have power over it. You have power over it. Praise the Lord. What did you write? Praise God. Let me read what she wrote. He said, last week I dreamed someone took my took your fan from your hand and started fighting. You started fighting with the guy for a long time, but at last you took your fan from him. Glory be to the almighty God. You see, that is what I'm trying to say. Your spirit man be, need to be alert. That man is the stubborn pursuer. Is a demonic presence in your life. That is a spiritual spirit that comes as spirit husband or whatever they come. So it's time for you to put a lock, put an end to that demonic spirit. They cannot continue to come. They don't have right over you. They don't have power over you. No more. You put a stop. Lock that gate. Through the word of God, command your spirit, your soul, wherever they have trapped it, come out of every cage. Begin to declare it wherever you are now. My soul, escape as a bird. My soul, escape. Some people, their souls are trapped. Your fragment of your soul is trapped. That is what they use. Keep They keep, they keep coming against you through that that they have against you. Praise God. The accuser of brethren continuously accuses us. He accuses you all the time. So let your soul escape as a bird. They have no power, no right over you anymore. In the name of King Jesus Christ. And I join faith with you. In the name of King Jesus Christ, your spirit man become active. In the name of Jesus, receive fire. In the name of Jesus, fire all over your body. In the mighty name of King Jesus Christ, fire from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In the name of Jesus, whenever they see you now, they see fire in the name of King Jesus Christ. I decree and declare fire all over your body. 
in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. He said, as adamant harder than flint, he has made your forehead. He will grant you grace and glory in the name of King Jesus Christ. You will bear upon your body the mark, the mark of Christ. Begin to declare it. Your spirit become active. Your soul become active. Sometimes before you even, when you begin to declare something like, my spirit reject whatever is not of God. Reject it. My spirit reject it. My soul reject it. Everything that is coming against you, you begin to reject it. You begin to fight against it. When you are in dream, in your dream, they cannot come near you because why? Your spirit man is, a, is active. It's alert. Before they come, you give them one karate kick and they are gone. <laughs> Praise God. So be on fire. Declare God's word. That's what I'm trying to tell you now. Declare God's word. If you begin to declare in the physical, my spirit man, whatever is not of God, reject it. In the name of King Jesus Christ, my soul reject it. When you see demonic food in the dream, you will not eat it. When you see demonic food, demonic initiation, you will not eat it. Why? Because you, your spirit man has accustomed to that prayer. Your spirit is hearing the word of God. Is hearing what you speak, what you declare. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Your spirit man is getting used to what you are saying. My spirit rejects any demonic food. My soul rejects it. My body rejects it. My spirit rejects it. In the name of Jesus, my soul rejects it. My body rejects it. My head will not be used by witches and warlocks. Witchcraft arrows will not attack my head. Somebody begin to declare it. Witchcraft arrows will not come against my head. I soak my head in the blood of Jesus Christ. My head is soaked in the blood of Jesus Christ. I pour oil upon my head, oil of fire, in the name of King Jesus Christ. No evil arrow can penetrate my head. Ah, I put on the whole armor of God. I use truth as a belt tied around my waist. I use righteousness as my breastplate and my shoes, the readiness to announce the goodness of peace. I use faith as a shield against every spiritual and physical attack. I use salvation as my helmet. Salvation as my helmet. And the word of God as the sword which the spirit gives to destroy every power from the pit of hell. What did I just say? And the word of God, the word of God to destroy every power from the pit of hell. You see what can destroy the powers of the pit of hell? The word of God. The word of God is your sword. This is the only sword that we need. And for us to be able to destroy the powers of darkness, it is written. It is written. It is written. If you don't know it, Cultivate, take 10 scriptures a day, write them down, begin to memorize it. That is the way you can defeat witches and warlocks. Somebody was asking me that question. How do you defeat them? The Bible says we overcame him, Revelation 12, 11, by the blood, the blood. You have a hedge all over you, around you. As you, children of light, saints of light, in us, there is no darkness. Hallelujah. In us, there is no darkness. So when you have that covering of light, demons cannot permeate. I'm telling you, whatever it is, witches, warlocks, they cannot touch you. Why? You are under the blood. Every single day you are walking, you are in the kitchen, you are going out. I am under the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ speaks for me. The blood of the new and the everlasting covenant speaks for me. Hebrews 12, 24. I am under the blood. Greater is he that is in me. I am under the blood. You begin to memorize. You begin to declare it. Your spirit man will get used to it. In the spirit realm, the demons see you. Ah, they begin to tremble. Hallelujah. They begin to run away. Because why? You have continuously said it. Hallelujah. You keep saying it. Ah, the Bible says in James chapter 5, verse 16, say the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous. It availeth much. My prayer, my fervent effectual fervent prayer, it avails much. I am declaring, ah, I am one with Christ as Christ is one with God. My life is hid in Christ and Christ is hid in God. I cannot die but live to declare the works of God in the land of the living. No evil shall befall me. No plague shall come near my dwelling. No evil witchcraft arrow can, no arrow can be thrown against my head. No demonic migraine because they project this migraine, this headache. You see some people, ah, my head, ah, my head. Ah, then you see them, they go down and then they start, they become weak. They, their soul has been besieged. Their soul is in a snare. Let your soul come out of every cage. Every bondage, every trap must be broken in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. I will 
I'd like to stop here today. Maybe I'll talk about another dream in another. I will talk, I will continue with this um, session in another live stream. Praise the mighty God. Praise the King of glory. I pray that God will see us through. Because most times, some of our families, our relatives, they begin to serve all this, all this uh, Santaria, all those Shango, all those witchcraft, all those local spirits and all that. Those things open doors for the demonic. You don't even know where it's coming from. But sometimes you're, somebody who is close to you might be serving all those kind of things. But it's time for us to cut ties with it. It's time for us to separate ourselves, consecrate ourselves, go into fasting and prayer and ask the Lord to take charge, take control, reveal to, to you the root of your problem and let him remove every strength of the enemy against your life in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. I hope that everyone has been blessed. I hope that you have learned something here today. And I pray that God will see every one of us true in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. I pray that your life will never remain the same. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 9, it says, The righteous shall be delivered through knowledge. Say, The righteous shall be delivered through knowledge. The Bible says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. But it says, Only the righteous shall be delivered through knowledge. And what is true knowledge is the word of God. It's through the word of God you can be delivered. Today, I'm telling you, try what I've told you. Open your every place in your house. Today, speak. The walls, these walls, they have ears. <laughs> I've known that from when I was much younger. The walls, they say the walls have ears. It's an adage, but believe me, it is true. Speak. Declare in your house and say, today, whatever is not of God, I give you quick notice. It's time to pack pack your load and get out. Quickly, out. Enough is enough. You cannot stay here. Two captains cannot be in a ship. Have you heard about it before? Two, mass, two captains cannot rule a ship. It's either they give way or you give way. But they have to give way because you are in charge. That is your territory. You defend your turf. So today you say enough is enough to any witches and warlocks and voodoo, whatever the enemy has, what, wherever they have changed you. Maybe, maybe you made a mistake in your past and then they are using that to hold you bound. No, no more. It's an error because greater is he that is in you because you are a new person in Christ. He said all things are passed away. All things are passed away. Remind when Satan is bringing that judgment against you. Remind the devil that the Bible says all things are passed away. It is written. Brothers and sisters, I pray for you. I pray that more knowledge, you say true knowledge shall we be delivered. More knowledge upon you in the name of King Jesus Christ. More strength, more grace, more fire, more power, more anointing. In the name of King Jesus Christ. And as I was praying, somebody I was it's like somebody was having pain in the left leg. I pray for you to be healed. You deliver yourself. Pray for that spot. You have the grace upon you. You have the anointing upon you. In the name of King Jesus Christ. Somebody experiencing pain in the left leg. Be healed now. I join faith with you. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Be healed by the power and the authority in the name of King Jesus Christ. Be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed in the name of King Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive your healing in King Jesus Christ's mighty name. We have declared and we have declared and we have declared and we have declared. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Will I be able to go through everything? So I want to say God bless you all. For as many that are still here and those who uh, came and left. May God bless you all. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, oh, I can. I see. Um, Chifundo, Messi, Judith. Greetings to all of you. Ify, Joyce, Messi, Esther. Jelly, you loved. 
Uh, praise God. May God bless you all. Cody Rose, greetings. Satan is under my feet. Amen. Uh, my dream, the dreams that I always dream is me delivering people. Hallelujah. That's powerful. Liz Uday, greetings. How are you? I don't know if she's still here. Praise the Lord. Beloved, greetings. Joyce, God bless you. Um, who else? Who else am I saying here? May God bless you all. If I didn't mention your name, please, I'm sorry. Uh, God has sent you what the topic of soul fragmentation has been heavy on my mind. Really? Okay. I think we'll talk more about that because a lot of people don't really know. Many people don't know. And then we we'll pray. I, I want us to be praying deliverance prayer so that we'll be breaking breaking out and breaking free from every shackles of the enemy because like a, a lot of people just every day you see people carrying carrying their stuff carrying the same bondage of yesterday carrying no enough is enough we need to drop it we need to get rid of it you see god has sent you for me as i wanted to change my seat in church because of what god has been showing me concerning the person who sits in front of me. <laughs> oh my lord god bless you very true it happened to me last Sunday. So your husband says witchcraft doesn't exist. Uh, you know, some people don't dream. They will say they don't dream, but the enemy has blinded that part of them. The greater is he that is in me than he. Amen. Okay. I pray that I've been able to over. I'm just trying to read people's comments. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. Thank you. God bless you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, I just, I'm just, there's so much that we need to talk about. There's so many things that is lacking, so many ways that the enemy is drawing us back. But mm -mm, it's an error. We need to break out and break free. May God bless you all till we meet again by God's grace. I don't know if we'll be able to have tomorrow, but if we do, we glorify the name of God at the same time. May God bless you. And like I said, I am been, I've been planning for a prayer session, but it's not going to be on this channel. I just want to do a particular place where, or maybe we'll just still continue here. Just prayer. Because sometimes I want to come out like 12 midnight, like even last night, I want to say, oh God, like just to, you know, start praying. But I don't know. If you see me doing that, it's not as if I'm saying everybody should come, but whoever is interested, join. If you can, join. If you can watch it later, join. But this period, the, the, there's so much happening in the spirit realm. We just need to be attentive and alert in the spirit so that we'll be able to conquer whatever. And we need strength. We need strength. You said it. We need strength. You, we need strength. We need strength. Today was such, oh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We need strength. Pray, ask God to strengthen you. Ask the Lord to give you more strength. Ask God to keep you on fire more and more. Because these days, so many, the kind of sophisticated way that the enemy is attacking, sometimes it will, it will carry people's face to go and use to attack other people, to cause problems. You don't know who your enemy is. You think it's that person that is, you know, they are using the person's face. It's not. So it's, so, it's good for us to pray every single dream that you dream. Don't just run off and say, this is what it means. No. Take, pray about it. Pray about it because before you know it, some people will be making careless mistakes. You think this is what you are saying, but that is not what it means. 
sometimes they are contaminating people's dreams. Sometimes people's antenna is being affected. Your dreams might be contaminated. You will know. Sometimes you will just constantly be seeing some kind of wrong dreams that you never used to dream before. Different ways that you never used to see things before. It will just begin to happen in a wrong way. You will know that. You need to take time out, fast and pray. If you are fasting and praying, it's not working then look for someone to join faith with you and pray. Praise God. If you need, just send me a message. Don't worry, just send me a message. I will pray about it. Sometimes There was somebody who, um, like I always say, I think I've said this twice. I, I don't know this person till tomorrow, but this person just sent me an email. You see, that is why I say it's not about me. It's not me because I have no power of my own. I just present myself and the Holy Spirit does what he does. I don't even know how he does it. Somebody's like, somebody's feeling chest pain. I pray for that pain to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Chest pain, I command you to cease in Jesus name. Amen and amen. I agree with you that that pain must go. Chest pain, go, go, go in the name of King Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the healer. You are the deliverer. Amen. Hallelujah. So sometimes, so I, I just read this person's email and I knelt down. He just dropped in my spirit to write this, write this, write this. And then I wrote that. I said, turn on the stream, put it loud and let the person hear it. And that was how the person got their deliverance. Sometimes I might not talk with you. Do you understand? I might not call you or you might not call me. You, it's just for you to just write something. Just write just one sentence and I'll pick it up. Praise God. Because why? It's not me that is the healer. There's one who paid a huge price for me and you and everybody else. And his name is King Jesus Christ. He's the miracle worker. He's the one performing all the miracles. So he's the one that we are looking up to. We are looking up to King Jesus Christ, who's the author and the finisher of our faith. So may God bless you. <laughs> Before I continue, may God bless you. Remain blessed till we meet again by God's grace and mercy. Stay in his words. Pick up your Bible. Begin to study. Through studying of your Bible, your deliverance is coming. There's another person who read one particular part of the Bible. And the person was going through, going through a, 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 a demon that was limiting her, putting her on one spot. The demon walked out of her. This demon walked out of her and she was completely delivered. And that, um, deli that demon that walked out of her had to do with mental illness and so many other things. But when he walked out of her, she was completely delivered. That is true, the word of God. Not true laying of hands or true me prophesying, no. But direct. Sometimes I can tell somebody, go ahead, just do this, do this. He just, you say he uses the foolish things to confirm the right. Little things can cause your deliverance. Very little. Very little things that you take as trivial. You do it, your deliverance will take place. You... Sometimes some people will just look and say, ah, but I want to talk with her. Why is she just, you might not know whether it's, you don't even know if it's God that sent me to give you that scripture for your own deliverance. Because I am not the one who is doing the deliverance. It's King Jesus Christ. He has the power to do it because I have no power of my own. Because me, if I need prayer, I go to him direct. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty King. So may God bless you and somebody with stomach condition be healed. In the name of King Jesus, receive your healing. That stomach be healed. In the name of King Jesus Christ. I command that stomach pain to subside in Jesus Christ's name. Go now, now, now that pain reduce in the name of King Jesus Christ and go. Ah, that pain. Be gone in the name of King Jesus Christ. The Bible says, the stranger shall hear my voice and flee. Jesus Christ is the healer. Father, I pray for that person who is experiencing stomach pain. 
be healed now. Receive your healing in the name of King Jesus Christ. Receive your healing. If you are that person, just put your hand on your stomach and receive your healing by faith. Say, so without faith, it's impossible to please God. Praise the Lord. You are healed in the name of King Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Till we meet again, shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you all.